I'm sad I missed every, I missed every clue. My child had eyes that were so red that I was trying to figure out if it was the chlorine water making his eyes red, how naive I am as a parent. You know, I was definitely powerless over her behavior and her using, and I knew that um, she had to seek recovery. And, um, you know, her bottom being an overdose, a suicidal attempt. To say she fell off of a cliff is kind of an understatement because she went to a place I didn't even realize that she was capable of going to. Um, she was having issues with um, hurting herself, you know, with self-mutilation. She was, she was drinking, she was using drugs. Um, she, it was way out of our comfort and abilities. This has everything to do with why Robbie is so despondent and so angry and so withdrawn and failing his classes and his swimming is not the timing that it was. You know, I don't, I, there was no real reason for me to be, to act the way I did to my mom. It was just, it was just part of like, you know, my addiction is part of my defects that came out. And um, I remember times where like I wouldn't even hug her. I wouldn't even kiss her. I wouldn't tell her I love her. I would trash the house if I didn't get my way. I'd been to the other high schools. I actually went and checked out the other high schools and when I walked in, it was very cold, very kind of menacing, very big, um, and, it, and it felt wrong for me. When I came here, um, it felt like there was a different type of energy here. When I went to public school, teachers didn't care about me. They just gave me grades and didn't talk to me about anything, and it was, I just didn't feel the love. When I, when I got here, one of the teachers here actually helped me a lot with my fear of writing that I developed when I got sober. Like, I, I couldn't put pencil down to the paper. I couldn't, I couldn't just get the words out of my mind. Like, my mind was so jumbled up, and she just kept pushing me and getting on me and focusing me back on what I'm doing. And I wouldn't have gone to the next grade level. I wouldn't be a senior today. And that's all through the help of the Archway staff. Being in another school environment, Robbie would be right back where he was before and that is not learning how to give up the lie life and take in the life of integrity. And I can't tell you how much I have heard her come home after a difficult day and said that she's been down to talk to the counselors and to try to get herself down off of the feelings that she was having for whatever that reason was. And it wasn't really important what the reason was, but to hear that that's what she did and she knew that's where she was supposed to go, that's huge for me to know that my daughter is 16 years old and she kind of knows how to get her help. And I think that is what makes it work, is just knowing that we're all in this together, that we're all fighting for the same, for the same goal, and that we're all struggling together when we're struggling, and that we're all happy together when we're happy. And I don't have to try and beat anybody, I don't have to feel competitive, I can literally walk like hand in hand with everybody and not have to feel insecure or judged. At the tr traditional school, they saw her as, with their, all of her things she was going through, they saw her as a burden, they saw her as a liability. At Archway, she's a gift. It's, it's welcoming, it's, it's warm-hearted, it's funny. People here are just real and down to earth, and um, it, it's just not fake. All the faculty are, are just, they're not like traditional school uh, figures. They're, they're more just, they're open. They're, they're real people. They don't try to act like uh, someone that tells you what to do. Archway is a community. It's, um, it's a family. And I felt that from day one, but I really felt it when things got bad for my family. My freshman year, uh, towards the end, um, my dad passed away uh, in the middle of the night. And I was here when I found out. Uh, and it was very hard. Honestly, I don't even know if I'd still be alive if it wasn't for Archway. Um, they, they helped me through that so much. I, I know I would not be able to deal with it the way I did. I had people that I didn't know real well that came to our house that sent us things that showed support to my family. Um, and um, that loved my daughter through it. I, I was telling someone today that 
the issues that I have today feel a lot more like me dealing with a 16-year-old girl who's growing up than me dealing with a 16-year-old girl who may not make it to 17. Life now is loving. Um, she genuinely cares about other people's feelings. And um, that's something she got from being in recovery. I have a whole lot of hope that she's gonna graduate from a four-year college, um, which is a big deal because I didn't even do that. Robbie's gonna make it here. He is going to make it here. And he's a senior and um, he graduates from the school at the end of the year. And, and I'm actually like looking at serious like colleges and have goals for the future um, that I wouldn't be able to have if I wasn't doing well in school, which Archway has provided for me through, through caring about me and taking care of my recovery as well as my academics.